Good afternoon. You well? Yes, very well. Can I just check your, your nice run of form is, is continuing, but next up it's Anfield. I'm guessing, have you ever been to Anfield? And if you haven't, what have you been told about it? I've been on Anfield, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward. Huh? I know yeah, the ambience, the atmosphere will be great. will be hostile against us and you know, we like it. A test of your team's mentality? You've met, a, you've met a lot of your team's mentality and mental resilience recently. How, how big a test of that will this be? It's of, of course a test, um, but we facing Liverpool and we're really looking forward. And I know uh, these players, my squad, my team um, will be prepared and to, to go, to go and fight and to go with confidence. Uh, but we know that's yeah, going to be t uh, difficult. Uh, we know we have to suffer. We have to sacrifice to get a good result. You're 10 points clear of Liverpool at the moment. How surprised are you at the way they've struggled at times this season? Um, I'm not talking about Liverpool. It's, <laughs> it's not my responsibility. And I, I have enough to do here in Carrington. I have enough to do with Manchester United. So I have to deal with uh, the performance of Manchester United. And that's all where I'm aware of and where I'm putting all my effort in. In the first section. Phil. Eric, um, you've had some really big wins recently, Manchester City, the cup final against Newcastle, obviously Barcelona as well, but how big was that win over Liverpool right back at the start of the season when questions were being asked in terms of giving the group the belief to go on this run? Uh, yeah. it's, it's in the process, but so it's a couple of months back, so we are now in a different uh, process and uh, it's a different period, so I don't look back, I look forward and uh, I look forward um, to Sunday and I really go to enjoy this. And you said when you very first took over, you were asked about Manchester City and Liverpool's dominance and you said eras can end. With the way you're now playing, with what Arsenal have done this season, do you think that era of just those two at the top is now over? Nah, it's, uh, we asked in the season, no. Uh, and. Uh, is always uh, a pattern and never it's only go eh, so consistently in a, in a way. Eh, it's go like this, it's fluid. And I'm sure uh, Liverpool is a really good management, uh, a really good way of play philosophy, really good strategy. No, I don't think so. Um, we are aware of that. Uh, but once again, we are not talking about uh, other clubs, we are talking about us. And I think we are in a good direction and with our philosophy and strategy and culture and we have to, prog uh, to keep uh, getting progress and it's all about that. Uh, James Cooper, uh, Yeah, hi Eric. Sorry, over here. Um, you talked about being in a different process to that win over Liverpool, which was your first win as Manchester United manager. Are the players that's recognisable to you, bearing in mind the comparison with the players you started and how they've grown over the past few months? Uh, we don't have to, to compare. <laughs> and, um, it's about um, yeah, the future. Uh, it's about now. And so we face a uh, uh, fantastic opponent and we're looking forward. And so it's all about us uh, to getting the right preparation and to be ready uh, for that game. But there's also a lot of talk about the tactics you employ and the, the differences you brought to Manchester United. How do you make players hungry again? Because they are hungry again. Yeah. It's difficult to say in a few words or a few sentences. Um, so it's m more total package. It's more like what I say, philosophy, culture, strategy, and to to bring that consistently forward uh, day by day. Dave, you've got a fantastic <coughs> record this season at Old Trafford. I think 19 games undefeated, but you get to beat a big rival away from home. Is it time, do you think, to underline the progress the team, the squad have made? by getting a statement win, and it's, I think it's seven years since Manchester United won at Liverpool. So do you feel the time is, is now for you to go there with the belief you can uh, win over a big rival away from home? Well, yes, but I think also we had away from home uh, really cool performances. So uh, for me, it's no difference. Um, and the pitch is everywhere, same sides. And there are and three refereeing, it's a fourth. Uh, the ball uh, is round. Uh, it's air in the ball, eh? so uh, we have to play and to make it our game. And of course, we know 
uh, the ambience uh, will not be supporting us, and yeah, you have to to deal with that. And 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 uh, but as I said, our players they like it, and uh, they like it uh, to play in such atmosphere. But what kind of message would it send out if you were to go to Anfield and win? Because you've lost at Manchester City, lost at Arsenal. I know you've not played at Spurs yet away, but at, at a big rival, you know, near you in the table. Yeah, uh, uh, so <laughs> that is so next step we have to make then. Um, Harry Maguire said after the game about how you went quite hard on the team at half time yesterday. Was that just you um, emphasising that there can't be any complacency because you'd, you'd won the cup final? We had all the presentations before the game. Did you feel that maybe a little bit of complacency had sneaked in? No, uh, what I saw was we are not playing along our standards. That's what I saw in the first half. And yeah, then I will be tough to my team, to my players. So because I demand a performance uh, and every day I dem demand a performance and it's, I don't accept when it's lower. Then I will criticize them and I will tell them what I expect and uh, then I have to give the team solutions uh, how to win the game and I think performance second half was much better. Just on your team news, do you expect to have the same squad available on Sunday? Will you have anybody back, do you think? I think we, we have players back, but I'm not sure if you have seen yesterday, Luke Shaw was not available, so um, we expect him back. And Sancho? Sancho, yeah, he was ill, but you have to wait how that develops, but yeah, I think as well. And just on fighting on, on for four different trophies, does that become more challenging as the season gets to its conclusion? Uh, also, uh, we like to play. and. Um, uh, we we get uh, we have energy from playing every third four day, and so we want to keep that going. So, but think about game by game. So uh, now Sunday next game. Uh, last question in this section, Mark. Eric, there was a moment last night after full time when um, Steve McLaren came over and he pointed to his head and he said, "Winning mentality." You mentioned it before. Jurgen Klopp's always made a massive thing about mentality. He's called his team mentality monsters. Do you think? that your team is getting to a level where you've got your own mentality monsters now? Oh, I think our team, our mentality is in general is very good. And I think we have uh, also many leaders uh, who sets the mentality, who sets the standards, who control the standards, uh, who correct if necessary. So um, I think we are happy with this process, uh, but can always be better. And that has to be also uh, the approach. Hey,